everybody, it's Lucy Coleman um, here at Lake Bonnie Camp. Um, it's about seven degrees above zero Fahrenheit right now, and it's a beautiful sunny day, and I want to show you um, what Bonnie Camp is all about with a little um, video here. Um, so thanks for joining me. So here's where we're staying for the next couple of weeks. Um, lake Bonnie is this ice-covered lake. Um, lake Bonnie Camp is all the buildings and tents you can see from where we are right now. Um, I'm standing on the helo pad, as I mentioned, and it kind of feels like a stage. You can just get a spectacular view from here up and down the valley. Um, in the background, you can hear our generator humming. That's the white building over there. And uh, let me show you some of the other things around our camp. All right, guys, do you want to say anything about what you're doing? We're shipping ice for drinking water, and dish water. Kind of the heart of our camp, I would say, is this building that we're looking at right here. It's called a James Way, and it kind of looks like a big tunnel. Inside is all of our uh, main living spaces. Um, we don't sleep in there, but we spend most of our inside time inside the James Way. Hi, I'm Cody Hahn. I'm a PhD student here out in the Dry Valley. I'll be heading out today. Um, pretty much it's about 35 minutes ATV ride that direction. And uh, yeah. So I will be the Panda Express today, shuttling people back and forth from the field site to base camp. Okay, it's obviously super cold outside right now. Plenty cold enough to keep things freezing. Um, and so <laughs> our food is stored in this funny little, um, I don't know, it's like a bunker. And uh, it's basically our our freezer um, but it's not plugged in or anything like that because it's keeping everything frozen just fine just like that one thing you'll notice a lot of around bonnie camp is um, barrels of fuel so these are to um, power our atvs our generators our um, cooking stoves and we constantly have to monitor the levels of these um, fuel barrels so that we don't run out and have our machines stop working because of that. Okay, in the distance here you can see some of our tents and the mountains and glaciers that are flowing out of the mountains. This whole valley was carved out by a giant glacier, which is a river of ice um, that has since retreated and left all of these boulders strewn about the valley. Um, here you can also see our tents and the lake. Um, this is a pretty uh, interesting and fragile uh, ecosystem here. It's dominated by microbes that live in the soils, in the streams when they flow, and under the lake ice. The few scientists that come down here come down here to study these microbes and so for that reason we want to protect this environment. Um, that means that we have to take all of our waste with us when we leave here. Um, so we have to um, box up all of our trash and also our human waste. So if we move over this way we can see um, the barrels that store our human waste right outside of our outhouse here. Um, so all of that has to come with us when we leave here. Okay, so uh, here's the James Way. I'll show you the inside. Um, when you walk in, we have this vestibule and it has a bunch of different tools and all of our big reds hanging up in here. Um, when we go into the main living area, we have our dining area. Hi everyone. <laughs> That's where we have our meals. Um, right now there are nine people staying um, in our camp, so um, we have big family style meals here. 
Um, here's our little kitchen with a stove that runs on propane, refrigerator. Um, over in the corner here we have our communications. So we've got our um, satellite phone, our scanner to listen to the radio. We have our weather station right here telling us exactly how cold it is outside right now. Little workstations here. Um, on the other side of the table behind Eckhart, you can see our pantry full of mostly expired food, but we can still make some tasty stuff out of it. Um, we've got our couch and storage cubbies here for all of our stuff. And um, this is our dishwashing area. You'll notice that our sink doesn't actually have a faucet because we have to use lake water um, that was ice that we melted um, to wash our dishes and then we have to collect our wastewater and throw it outside. Or not outside but in barrels to be toted out later. So that's the James Way and uh, yeah, this is the last year for this James Way. After our season it's going to be torn down and replaced with something else so we're lucky to be um, working in this historic hut. Okay, thanks!